Buying Ethereum right now is easy, but eventually there will be no more Ethereum at the prices that you want. A major Ethereum update will be coming to the mainnet very soon, and major update is an understatement. And this update will change everything when it comes to Ethereum. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. For over two years, the Ethereum community has been speaking about EIP 1559. This is an update that would burn the base fee when making an Ethereum transaction. For example, if you were to go ahead and participate in DeFi or maybe buy an NFT, you would pay a transaction fee and a portion of that fee would be burned and removed from circulation forever. And this was a very controversial update. We thought maybe this would never happen, but right now EIP 1559 is live on Ethereum's Robston testnet. And here is confirmation on Etherscan. And the reason that this is happening on a testnet is to make sure there are no bugs or mistakes because once something goes live on the mainnet, there is no turning back, right? So right now we're in the testnet and this is how it works in blockchain. You have the mainnet, but before that you have the testnet and usually the testnet happens in multiple phases. So in this case right now, EIP 1559 on the Robston testnet and the next phase in the London hard fork rollout is deployment on the Goerli testnet, which is scheduled for June 30th. Following that, it will be launched on the Rinkby testnet on July 7th. And finally, the upgrade will be rolled out on Ethereum mainnet later in the month. So according to this, we can expect EIP 1559 to go live on Ethereum's mainnet by the end of July, but this is crypto. It could probably be, you know, August, September, wouldn't even be surprised if it's later than that. This is crypto. There are usually multiple delays. And like I said, this is how it works in blockchain. Even right now with Cardano, before they launch smart contracts on their mainnet, they are going through multiple phases of the Alonzo testnet. So when this arrives, EIP 1559 to Ethereum's mainnet, Ethereum gas fees will be burned. And the reason that this is so big is because during times of high network activity, more Ethereum will be burned than Ethereum created, meaning that Ethereum will become a very scarce asset. And I need to address a criticism right here. Often when we see such a major update on a blockchain project, people will criticize and say, look at this project, it is centralized. They are making major changes. How can we trust this project? When it comes to blockchain, there is nothing wrong with making major updates. Actually, a project should always have the ability to make an update. The real issue is when a project has a major update and it happens very fast and the decision is made by a few people, right? A small project with only a few developers, they can make changes whenever they want. But in the case of Ethereum, this is a proposal that was made over two years ago. The reason why it has still not been implemented is because Ethereum is so decentralized. This is the reason why we still don't have Ethereum 2.0 and why everything takes such a long time. The more decentralized a project is, the harder it will be to update, but it does not mean that it is not possible to update it. This is also why we see it is very difficult to make any major updates on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is even more decentralized than Ethereum. But right now what's going on with Ethereum, this is huge, this is massive. Imagine Bitcoin changed its monetary supply from having 21 million Bitcoin to 20 million Bitcoin. Everyone would go crazy. So right now with Ethereum, we are doing something similar. We are changing the tokenomics. And also something to point out is that EIP 1559 will not fix Ethereum's high gas fees. High gas fees will remain as long as there is high network activity. The high fees will not be fixed until Ethereum 2.0. But what EIP 1559 will fix is making Ethereum's fees more predictable. Right now, because it's an auction model, you might pay a fee of $30 and then next minute, $100. It's changing back and forth. But with EIP 1559, it will be more predictable. So knowing what we know now, does this mean that the price of Ethereum will skyrocket? No, anything can happen and still Ethereum follows Bitcoin. Maybe that will change in the future. Also, if we look at the title of this video, it's there will be no more Ethereum. Of course, 
This doesn't mean that there literally will not be any more Ethereum, but there will be no more Ethereum at the prices that we want. But this is only based off of network activity because the base fee will be burned. But if there is no network activity, more Ethereum will be produced than Ethereum burned. There will only be a scarce amount of Ethereum or a reduction in the overall supply of Ethereum if the network activity remains very high. And I do believe that we will see that eventually, even if it is five to 10 years from now. But as we know in crypto or in Ethereum, it works in cycles. For all we know, the demand might skyrocket next week or in one month from now, or it might further decline. And right now, actually, Ethereum gas fees are relatively low. Just a couple months ago, it might be $150, $200 to make a swap. Right now, as I make this video, about $10 to make a swap on Ethereum. This is because, as we know, the interest in crypto and Ethereum in general right now is lower. Also, there are layer two scaling solutions that are removing congestion from Ethereum. So if you wanna go ahead and use DeFi or maybe make some NFTs, buy NFTs, right now might be a good time. But for the title of this video to play out, there will be no more Ethereum at the prices that we want. We will need to see high network activity on Ethereum, high demand. And I do believe we will see it. Like I said, even if it is five to 10 years from now, NFTs are not going away. Yes, the NFT bubble has popped, but like all collectibles, there still is a small percentage of NFTs that are very valuable. This is how collectibles work, right? 95% of the market is worth nothing. 5% is worth a lot. We are still seeing NFTs selling for millions of dollars. Also, we will see a resurgence in DeFi and it will not be only on one chain. It will not only be Ethereum. Vitalik Buterin has said himself, also Charles Hoskinson, the creator of Cardano, has said himself that there will not be one chain to rule them all. We will live in a multi-chain universe. And in five to 10 years from now, there will be a lot of network demand for apps on multiple blockchains, whether it's Ethereum, Cardano, or the others out there. And when that time comes and we have Ethereum 2.0 with low fees and it is scalable along with EIP 1559 and burning of the fee, I do believe that there will be no more Ethereum at the prices that we want. And this might happen in a couple years from now, like I said, five years from now or 10 years from now. But I do believe, I strongly believe that eventually it will happen. And I want to know what you guys think. Put your comments down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.